The Bandiagara escarpment is in Mali, near the border of Burkina Faso. The people of the Dagon tribe build their houses in the shelter of the rock escarpment, which extends east to the Hombori Mountains. These rocks hold the secrets of the Dogon, one of the most isolated peoples of Africa. The members of this tribe believe that they are born with two souls, one feminine and one masculine. They circumcise their sons to liberate them from the influence of their female souls, if only. Last year's circumcised boys wear more sophisticated clothing and perform the dances that celebrate the arrival of the new macho men in the village. When the ceremony ends, they come down, led by the Ogon, the regional priest and judge. By law, no women can see them. To ensure compliance, those circumcised the year before walk ahead brandishing sticks. If they encounter any unlucky female in the street, she'd better run or they will beat her and she'll have to pay a fine of one chicken. This way of thinking doesn't appeal much to me. In fact, it doesn't appeal to me at all. Perhaps they don't have much sense. Of course, what they really lack, though, is water. This is the most precious commodity, and it's found only in a few wells. But during droughts, even the wells are dry. When this happens, the Dogon do have a need for their women. After all, rain women have the power to attract thunderstorms and rain. These highly venerated women are hard at work employing their deep understanding of the laws that govern the world, not to mention a great sense of rhythm. If the gods are pleased with their dances, they'll give up a little bit of the water that's so abundant in the heavens. Built into the escarpment overlooking the village are forgotten houses and tombs where the key to the origin of this tribe might be found. Some of the remains in these inaccessible cemeteries have been resting here for centuries. No one other than us has access to these sacred and highly venerated tombs. Well, I'm not so sure about us either. If there's one outstanding group among the Dogon, it is the Mask Society. Only the initiated are permitted to wear these face masks. They represent animals or other entities and once belonged to now deceased hunters. The souls of their former owners inhabit the dancers who wear the masks as long as they keep dancing. And I never even suspected it. They begin moving slowly but speed up to a frantic pace as the dance continues. The dance represents the struggle of the Dogon against their enemies, of positive against negative and of order against chaos. <laughs> <laughs> 